Hi guys, welcome back to our videos dedicated to the best chivalry pieces of the month. And before we start, let me just quickly remind you about the rules of this type of the videos. All of the chivalry pieces which you see on this video have been made in accordance to the desire of the current owner. Therefore, we do not accept critics here because these chivalry pieces already belong to someone. They are sold. They have got their owner who is very happy with them and we do not want to upset them with our critics in this case. If you see that the design shall be made in a different way, just text me directly in WhatsApp and we will arrange the chivalry piece which will satisfy your own taste. Let's be respectful and mindful to each other. For the same reason we do not leave the prices uh, in these videos because Again, it is the private information which shall not be shared, but if you have an idea to get a similar design or a similar type of the chivalry, just let me know again in WhatsApp and I will be able to calculate the price for your project. Okay, let's start. Number one is a very rare guest uh, in our collection. It is an emerald from Zambia in Africa. The design is made in the classic yellow gold, uh, which is also not very much typical for us actually, but the owner decided to have it exactly in this way. We also can see the traditional symbol of Unalon here, and I have been telling about the meaning of this symbol many, many times. So if you're interested, just scroll um, down among the videos and you will be able to find the description. This emerald, even though it is coming not from Colombia, is almost the same top quality as Colombian emeralds, which are supposed to be the best in the world. And as it always happens to emerald, it is treated with oil. It is not supposed to be a defect uh, or a dropping of a stone. It is a normal practice for emeralds. These practices have been actually known since the uh, old times and was widely applied by ancient Greeks and Romans. Number two is my favorite type of the gemstones, which is Espino. I like this stone, especially in this color, because it looks very beneficial in any type of the lightning. When the weather is good and sunny, it will be bright blue. If the weather is cloudy, it will be dark blue with a noble hint of steel gray. The design is very unusual. It is a necklace, which is also a rare thing. Um, for us to make but we are definitely happy with the design because it looks fantastic number three is a cologne with the black star sapphire uh, i do love this stone however it is very difficult to make a video with it because you will see either a star or a pattern it's very difficult to catch under the natural light both of them at the same time on a camera like for example right now you can see the star that is shown in a very bright and clear way. However, you barely can see the beautiful pattern which is also present there, actually. And as usual, we pay a lot of attention to the details. Therefore, at the back of the pendant, you can also see the very beautiful background made in a Gothic style, representing the symbol of Om and a lotus. Number four is our author design fully made by um, us and I would say that I am extremely proud of this piece. Here we have got the perfect pearl from Indonesia, again gothic style with black uh, gold and the yellow gold, black diamonds and absolutely perfect design I would say. The pearl itself is sitting in the petals of a lotus again and that looks just divine. Number five is a very cute opal from Ethiopia uh, and it looks absolutely cheerful in any kind of lightnings, which is the good news for us. Unfortunately, not all of the Ethiopian opals have the same bright colors and flashes. Sometimes we have to go through the buckets and buckets of them before we get the really worthy one and that is the case. Number six is also a very special design. Here we have got a rare black pearl from Tahiti. And unfortunately, the amount of the good quality Tahiti pearls is decreasing every year due to the ecology on our planet Earth, which is sad. 
but it also means that the price on the high quality black tate apparel will be increasing so please pay attention to this fact the design is made in a gothic style we have got the black diamonds here and in my personal opinion it looks absolutely like the masterpiece it creates a similar feeling to what you get when you look for example at some uh, gothic cathedrals in barcelona or in milan for example is that just stunning i do love this piece of jewelry number seven is a very popular design as well you can see here uh, that we used chinchok symbol and chinchok it's a little lizard which is um, shown right now in your screens that little lizard is supposed to bring you the good attitude of others it makes you look charming it makes you look very attractive to others and therefore it can facilitate in creating the family or finding the partner of your life and our little lizards in this case hold a beautiful and very big actually green garnet from africa from tanzania and you know already that it is called a tsavarite and as you know tsavarites are famous not only for the bright green color but also for the crazy increase in their price every year number eight is also actually a very unusual design here you can see this carob which is a very ancient symbol known since the epoch of egypt in the middle you can see the polychrome supply from Madagascar, which is also a very rare and beautiful gemstone there are little black diamonds decorating the wings of a scarab the rest just fantastic job i believe the design and the stone perfectly match each other and make a beautiful pair number nine is one of the most popular design uh, which you keep ordering over and over again that is the combination of the black and yellow gold uh, the design is made as a petal of a lotus and very bright red garnets sitting on each of the earrings we also do a lot of orders in the same style for rings number 10 is a stone which you would recognize if you have watched closely the series of encyclopedia about the gemstone and yes that is undoubtedly is a beautiful zircon and zircons are always heated that is a norm for them that is a normal type of the treatment so there is nothing bad about this uh, the style of the ring is very simplistic but very elegant at the same time so it's a perfect option for the daily ring i would say number 11 is a stunning amethyst from rwanda and i still can't go over the fact that they stopped mining not because the mining was exhausted but because of the internal problem in the government which is a very sad fact but it is a fact therefore rwandan amethyst is a rare stone to find if we are talking about the good quality and their size and their price is increasing as the mining doesn't seem to be reopened again in the near future so far if you get something like that you are considered to be very very lucky which we are i also must notice that in a real life the stone looks even brighter so imagine how beautiful it is when you actually have it in your own hands or on your own hands actually the design again is absolutely amazing it's a combination of a gothic and elfian style i would say and it looks amazing number 12 this is another pair of earrings with Tahiti black pearls and it took actually a lot of time for us to find the same hue into pearls it is a really difficult job you can't believe how difficult it is but we managed and here is the result very beautiful unusual design with black pearls and black diamonds and the black gold it doesn't actually matter if you want to choose a gold or silver as a material because nobody will actually never know as soon as you get it blackened these earrings were actually uh, made to complete the set uh, and they are supposed to be weared together with this ring number 13 is a perfect uh, male ring or a female ring if you want to wear it on a daily basis and i do adore the design definitely my style of the combination the yellow gold underneath the black gold on top black diamonds and the decoration in a gothic style uh, in the inner layer of the ring everything looks just perfect 
Number 14 is the design which you might have seen already in the previous videos. We just remind you about that because it has been insanely popular actually among you guys and I can see why. That's a very beautiful combination of different color sapphires but the style the earrings are made make them look absolutely wonderful and magical when you're wearing them. They create a very magical um, volumized effect when you look at them and that's a bit glitchy to see but that's what you guys like about that I guess. Number 15 is a very common guest in our videos actually, the demon Laho, which is a good demon because he's eating all the negative emotions and thoughts not only of his owner but also of the people who are surrounding his owner. So basically this demon is protecting you from all the bad things which might be directed into you and all the bad energy. The stone in the front can be any. In this case the customer decided to get the black diamond. Number 16 is another design which uh, have been warmly welcomed by the customers and we have recreated different versions of it many many times. In this case we have the beautiful combination of the dark and the grey steel colors um, in the ring which create the lotus petals holding in its heart the beautiful tourmaline. I actually have been underestimating tourmalines for a long time because I didn't know what kind of color they could actually show and just recently I started to pay a bit close attention to them and they actually perform very well. Especially in the dark lightning, they still preserve their colors which is good. I even decided to make uh, a ring with that type of the tourmaline for myself. It's a work in progress. Number 17 is the work which is made not in a gothic but in a classic style. Here we have got the blue Sri Lankan uh, spinner and white diamonds around it and the very classic but still quite fancy design of the ring. The style is absolutely European, there is nothing from the Asian culture in this case but it looks actually very very lovely. Number 18 is a video about the absolutely wonderful amazing and very rare Afghanistan tourmalines but I do apologize for the quality because it has been made by our new employee and for some reason he made the video in a vertical position um, but usually it's supposed to be in the horizontal. The jewelry was sent to the owner straight after we made the video so there was no time to remake it and I'm sorry about that but at least you will be able to see this beautiful stone which is uh, two color it with a uh, very pleasant gradient between uh, one part of the stone and another part and that is actually a bracelet even though you can't properly see it on the video now. Number 19 is an insanely popular lavender spinel. Um, people keep ordering this type of a spinel in this hue a lot but unfortunately it's not that much easy to find the proper color and hue. There are a lot of um, spinel which are available in online stores and they're called a lavender spinel but well the quality is nothing alike actually. The proper lavender spinel is not that much easy to find. Trust me I have been going through heaps of those. In general per year I can get maximum maybe 20 good quality lavender spinel, no more. Number 20 is the jewelry piece which combines two the most expensive and rarest stones which are the green garnet at Savorite and a ruby. Of course in this case the little rubies which are sitting on side of the ring um, are not that much insanely expensive but even these little guys um, not the cheap version of decoration. What is most important uh, we see in the middle a very big size Tavarite which is actually a rare found because the Tavarites are usually all covered in crackles and they're tiny inside that's the biggest problem. The Tavarite which is more than three carats is already supposed to be a big stone so you can imagine how much does this one cost and how much it is going to cost in a couple of years. 
Number 21 is an absolutely stunning thread of black Toyota pearls and you can't imagine how difficult it was to try to match the colors because they are always unique in their hues. We tried to stick with the um, greenish black type of the hue but you can see that there are some pearls which are going into a bit more purple type of the color or blue but it doesn't spoil the effect, does it? The clasp is made uh, in our author design and in this case it has to be gold because silver would be too soft for this type of the jewelry and that type of the threads with this size of the pearls is quite heavy so we do need to use gold for this. This thread of the pearls is going to accompany the set of the earrings and the ring which you have seen before already. Number 22 is a pendant which have got the beautiful Ethiopian opal as the centerpiece of it and as you can guess by the color the Ethiopian opal have been treated by acid. I shall remind you that it's not a bad thing. Actually a lot of Ethiopian opals are treated like that to reveal a bit darker and brighter colors and if we say about it openly there is nothing wrong about that. What is wrong if the Ethiopian opal is dyed and it is not mentioned. That is a bad thing to happen. As you can see the design has been inspired by stained glass windows from some cathedral somewhere in Europe. That's why I got very beautiful gothic elements again and black diamonds and black and gold. Number 23 is another variation of Chinchok symbol. Uh, in this case we have got earrings. They are actually order it to accompany the ring in the same style and you can see the design is very simplistic but still very cute but the main idea is the symbolic meaning as i have said many many times before oh that piece um, under the number 24 is a special one we have been working on it very very long time actually and many of you have seen the 3d models and there were some doubts if it's going to be the same gorgeous in real life as it looks in a 3D model. And as you can see, that looks just stunning. In this case, there are some elements of neo-futurism in the design of the pendant. There are some asymmetrical elements and very unusual triangle construction with the elements which create the depth. Therefore, the piece of the jewelry looks very much volumized and multi-levered, which is definitely a good thing. In the center of the composition is an absolutely amazing garnet. And we have got again the yellow gold and the black gold to accompany the set. Number 25 is another project we have been working on very long time. I will explain why. As you can see, in the very middle of the butterfly, we have got the colorless supply. It wasn't a problem. What was a problem is the same hue orange mosaic garnets which are sitting on the wings of the butterfly. We had to spend month and month looking for the same hues uh, in the right size to make it look, you know, even. That's why this project, even though absolutely beautiful, was not easy. Number 26 is a set of earrings with black Tahiti pearls. The design is made by the current owner of the earrings and in this case they look like little black cherries which is kind of cute I believe. I probably would uh, change something in the design but that's how the owner sees that and that's how we make it because for us your wish is the law. Number 27 is uh, what looks like a very simple design. However, it is actually very unusual work because here we have got two tanzanites, almost identical hue and not big size. That is not typical thing to happen. I will explain why tanzanites of that size are usually not looking very much bright. Mm, the bright looking tanzanite starts from five maybe carats at least um, in some occasions maybe three carats or something like that and it wasn't um, easy to find the small size stones for that style of the earrings which would still produce the vibrant violet blue but we managed to do that and therefore you can see a beautiful result 